I am in Sulak. I am here to witness how Yarsa Gumbu is collected. So basically today uh, people from Tokyo village are staying here in Sulak. You can see the uh, tents. Uh, there are around 40 tents today. Uh, so basically uh, they spend the night today here and early in the morning they all go for So basically, today uh, people mostly collect yak's dung for firewood as uh, they tend to stay here in the tent for 18 to 20 days. So uh, today they are collecting yak's dung and firewood to keep them warm and to cook food for around 18 to 20 days. So well, uh, we are at the top of a small mountain in Sulak. Uh, we are here to collect yak dung uh, for using as a firewood tonight and for rest of the stay during this Yashagumbu collection season. So the sun is gradually setting and people are coming back to their tents. You can see some of our students coming back with Yak's Dong. So you can you can see smokes coming out of the tent. Look at this beautiful view in the evening and hoping for better views later in the evening and early tomorrow in the morning when everybody wakes up early to collect Yarsa Gumbu. That is why all these people are here for. It is getting dark and you can see smoke coming out of the chimneys and people outside their tents. You can also see children playing in the ground morning everyone uh, it's 5 a.m. in the morning and people are starting to wake up and are getting ready for the day uh, from today people are going to call it Yarsa Gumbu uh, you can see smoke coming out of the chimneys uh, people are getting ready they are packing their stuffs especially the food uh, as there will be no coming back until dinner today a.m. in the morning and you can see people walking towards their destination so finally uh, Yarsa collection starts So it's the first day of the Yarsa collection and people are just walking. You can see lots and lots of people, around 100 to 200 here today. So they are going to different directions. We are also going on a Yarsa hunt. The 
today is going to be very tough. It's going to be a kind of competition today. Competition to collect Yarsagumbu. It hasn't been half an hour since I walked, but I'm already tired. I'm not 100% today, so it's really going to be challenging to walk today. So let's see how things will go. I'm so tired. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking. Let's see if I can find people collecting Yarsagumbu. Hey. Okay, there we can see people trying to search Yasakumbu. Okay, people have started searching Yasakumbu. We can see a bunch of people looking for Yasakumbu in that hill. Also, we can see people there, right there, they are climbing the mountain in search of Yarsagumbu. Again, as I said, it's really a tough job to find Yarsa. It's not easy to climb mountains and search for tiny little fungus called Yarsagumbu. People have scattered here and there right now and you can hardly uh, see people as they are very far and some have climbed to the mountains. Uh, I can see a few people walking straight ahead of me. They are like small ants from here. Everyone is busy in searching Yersagumbu, but people have been saying that they haven't got Yersagumbu as expected. So the hunt for Yersagumbu is going on. People are trying their best to find Yersagumbu. You can see. People going from here to that mountain. I could not find a single Yarsha yet. So I'm climbing through this mountain, through this pass and try my luck the other side of the mountain. So let's walk. So right now, I'm climbing the mountain and I'm tired. I don't know whether I will get Yarsagumbu or not, but my hope is that at least I can get one Yarsagumbu today. That will make my day. So let's see. Looking 
for your second book it's really a hard job to find one it's two o'clock in the afternoon and people are still continuing the sorts of Yarsagumbu the sort started from 5.30 a.m. in the morning people who walked to the mountains early in the morning today hoping to get as much as Yarsagumbu as they can so you can see people trying their best trying to lock to find Yarsagumbu Precious fungus called Yarsagumbu. So this is Yarsagumbu. This portion is visible, so we have to be very sharp in detecting it. Here is the Yarsagumbu, here is the other one. See, it's really hard, it is hidden in between the grasses, so our eyes need to be very sharp. but unfortunately I haven't found a single yet but it has been fun following the Yasha collectors from Tokyo village everyone is preparing to return back to their tents now so in the evening and we are going back to the tents but people are still collecting yarsa uh, it will 
continue till sunset but I'm tired so I am gradually walking back to the tent after more than 13 hours of Yersa Gumbu hunt now people are slowly returning back with the full sack of yak stong so these people are really hard working and the efforts they put into their daily life is really commendable okay those are the tents we are walking towards this very long way back quarter past seven and finally I am close by the tents it has been a very hard journey for me I think you can see it on my face but I enjoyed it finally back to my tent and I'm feeling so relieved to complete this Persegumbu collection trail most of the people seem to have returned to their tents and have started preparing for dinner so they will have rest and again the same schedule starts early tomorrow morning at 5.30 am <laughs>